Reporting. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Now, it has been an active day across the Lone Star State when it comes to severe weather. We've seen several tornadoes up in the Texoma area. Again, some individual supercells that started to develop. Again, everything's been mostly off towards the north as far as any tornado activity has been. Things here in the Contra Valley, a little bit more on the quiet side, not nearly as active. We'd still like to have some thunderstorms to kind of generate some of that rain. We did see some showers out towards the Junction and Mason area. That was kind of a little bit of moving off from the south. And then we started to see move in towards our area. Otherwise, we've only really had the one lone thunderstorm that's kind of sat outside of Crockett County for much of the afternoon. As we've gone into the past couple of hours, it started to murk its way in towards our area. And it's going to continue to move off towards the east-northeast. So watching it. Out for spots like El Dorado and Eden, they may be in the eventual crossfires for this storm. And in fact, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning on this cell. So again, if it does hold on uh, to its intensity, we could still see some of that strong hail starting to make its way in towards the El Dorado area. Otherwise, again, there is where we have that severe thunderstorm warning. Still another few minutes left on it. It expires at the bottom of the hour at 10.30. And the reason for that... A severe thunderstorm warning is again that hail core has weakened in the just the past five minutes so it's not seeing nearly as strong hail but the highest that we saw with that we've seen reports of one and a half inch hailstones with that thunderstorm alone 80 degrees right now in downtown san angelo still plenty of moisture seeing that dew point in the lower 60s so very humid out there and those south winds at eight miles per hour they have calmed down just a tad but still staying out of the south bringing in that warm air across the area. 70s and 80s across much of the Concho Valley. A little warm pocket of those low 80s. Ballinger, Robert Lee, and San Angelo in the 80s. Everyone else looking at temperatures in the 70s. 77 for Mertz and El Dorado as well as Sonora. So again, those temperatures are going to drop down into the mid-60s as we continue through the overnight. Again, drop those rain chances just down to a 20% chance as we go through the rest of the night. And then going into tomorrow, some of those showers could linger into the early morning hours be dodging some showers during the morning commute for your Thursday and that's going to time out as we're starting to be more in towards the northeastern parts of the Concho Valley again this will be closer towards lunchtime that's when it starts to push off towards the southeast and then that really starts to see clear skies move return to our area going into Thursday evening and in towards Friday. That's really going to allow for those warmer temperatures and it's going to be helped out by this upper level ridge. This rebuilds in towards our area, allows for those clear skies and much warmer temperatures going into your Mother's Day forecast. Again, temperatures could be approaching triple digits. Some seeing triple digits for the first time this year. Again, Saturday as well as Sunday. Going to be a hot one again as we get in towards the weekend. Again, temperatures cooler for us tomorrow. Temperatures only topping out in the upper 80s. Then we'll see the real big climb into the upper 90s. Triple digits going through the weekend with rain chances returning for us next.